Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well today we're going to continue with our series from this box of Christmas cards and we're going to see what we can do with this little image here. I did try to take the pr the price was covering most of the image and I tried to take it off without affecting the image but it, it did take a bit of the card off but I'll give you a closer look at the real size card in just a second. So we are doing project number two. It's going to be similar to the one that we did with this one yesterday for our first project. So I'm just going to pop the card box out of the way. So we're using this image today. Actually, this image on its own is quite all right. It's, it's not bad as it is. But what we're going to do, we're going to build it up in a sort of decoupage. And we're going to make it look like that Santa's driving through an avenue of trees. So that we're going to sort of build up the trees a bit and do a little bit to the back of the car. So I'll explain what we're doing as we go along. But you don't need to have these images or these cards to create the same effect or similar effects. You can use this on any pack of cards that you've got or even your own stamps and dies. You can create your own images and build them up. So you can do this with whatever you've got. You don't have to have this set of cards to do it. So let's pop that to one side. And so here is another one. This is just exactly the same as the one I've just shown you. It's still flat at the moment. But we're going to bring that one back and show you what it looks like when we've compared it with what we're going to do with this one. So we're going to start off very simple. All I've done is I've cut out the rear end of the car. I've left Santa waving from behind intact. I was going to cut out the little Santa one, but I decided not to do that. I've got a foam pad on the back and I'm just going to line up the bit that says Santa 1 because that should put it in the right place. And I'm just going to pop that on there just to give that a little bit of dimension. It won't show much, but it'll just give it a bit more dimension and it'll sit our Santa Claus a little bit further forward. Now, I've cut, these are six by six cards. So I've cut one down, one piece down to six by four. And on the back, I've got foam tape. I've put little bits of foam tape. I've already taken the backing tape off so that you don't have to sit there and watch me peel that off. Very uninteresting. So I'm going to line that up with the top of our card and I'm going to press it down. I'm not even going to bother to put glue on it this time. So there we go. Now we've got another piece, which is roughly four by six. But what I've done is I've cut out an arch so that he's driving through the, to create a type of avenue of trees. And again, I've got foam tape on the back of this one. So I'm just going to line that up. I'm going to take that off a minute. So I'm going to try and hold that down and line that line up where I've cut it. So I'm going to, I, all I'm doing is holding the, car, the base card down with my hand, one hand, and pressing the top one down with the other. So we're going to press that down like that. And we have got a little bit of an overhang. This is sitting that way. Any overhang will cut off at the end. I haven't got any scissors with me, but I'll chop them off at the end. So there is our Santa. And just to make that look a bit more like an avenue of trees, I've cut another one. And this time just in little strips. I haven't even bothered to measure them. So it's just so that they go around your arch. So your measurements will depend on how big you want your arch. So I've, they're, really, they're scraps and this time I've put foam pads on the back and I'm just going to put one there like that. I've got another one which I'm going to put there like that. So it now looks like he's driving through this avenue, this big archway of trees. And just to finish it off, I thought that looked a bit bare like that. And if you look closely, I'm not sure you actually, yeah, you can see it from there. You can see that join. So what I've done, I've just done this by hand. I've made a Merry Christmas or written a Merry Christmas. And I've got foam tape on the back, which I haven't taken the backing off yet, but I'm going to very quickly take the backing off now. And I'm going to put that over the join, roughly, she says, in the middle. That's about right. And push that down like that. And in under five minutes, we have got a card, my friends. So there you go. There's our card finish. Now that's about as quick and as simple as you could get. So if I bring the other one in and put it side by side, you can see that this one is more dimensional. The image is the same, obviously, but we've got a Merry Christmas and it's built up. So that one will 
stand higher than that one. So I'm still going to keep that one. And this one would stand up, but I've got a little piece to cut off, which I'll do when I finish recording. So there you go, a quick and easy card making Santa driving through an archway or an avenue of trees by the, at the time of doing it. Once you've got everything cut out and the foam, foam pad stuck on, you can put this thing together in less than five minutes. So if you want a quick card that you want to make up and don't want to take too long, this is the type of thing to do. And as you can see, it looks very effective. So there we go again. I'll bring it in and compare it to that one. You can actually see the difference because you can see the archway here. And of course, this one's still flat and it, it's still quite acceptable, actually. So there we go. I'll leave, that, I'll leave them both there so that you can see the comparison. There's a very quick and easy card making an avenue of trees with our Santa Claus driving through it. Now, if you've got stamps and dies or you've got other Christmas cards that have got snow capped trees on them, but you haven't got this. You might have a stamp or a die with a Santa Claus. It doesn't have to be in a car. It could be in a sleigh. It could be anything. So use what you've got. You don't have to have this set of cards, as I said at the beginning, to do this, to do this type of thing. You can use whatever you've got. So use your stamps, use your dies, use any other boxes of Christmas cards that you think need tarting up a bit or brightening up a bit and have fun with it and see what you can do. And I will see you in our next video with project number three. Now, project number three is going to be another card, but it's going to be a bit different. We're not going to keep it flat. We're going to make it into a fancy fold card. And we're going to do something just a little bit different, but you'll, all that will become obvious. I'm hoping to put it up over the weekend sometime. I can't believe it's Friday already. Where did that week go? So either tomorrow or Sunday, I ho hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to have my next video up on the channel. I haven't recorded it yet, but I hope to have it up tomorrow. But if it won't, if it's not there tomorrow, it'll definitely be there Sunday. So thank you to everybody who's watching. Thank you for everyone who subscribes. If you're not a subscriber, but you're watching this channel for the first time and you've enjoyed this video, and even if you are a subscriber and you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell and you'll never miss another video. It's totally free to subscribe. It's free to give the thumbs up. It's free to add a comment. Everything is free to do. So I'm, neither I nor YouTube will charge you for that. It, it's one of those things that are free. So go on, take advantage of it. And I will see you very soon with my next video from this box. And just to give you a bit of a heads up, I am next time I am going to be using that image there with Santa and his reindeer. So I'm going to be using, is there a Santa in it? Yes. I'm going to be using that image next time, but we're going to do a fancy fold and do something a little bit different. So come back and see what I get up to next time. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and enjoy the rest of your day. And I wish you a happy weekend, although I'll see you before the weekend's up. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.